I have made several videos about laser, and basically on every video, there's always someone in the comments that has problems running laser, with problems like FPS or offset, and in the end they just give up. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly switch over to laser, and how to fix many of the problems of playing laser for the first time. Now disclaimer, if your PC is shit, I cannot help you with that. If your computer can't run laser, it can't run laser. But even people who have a decent PC are still complaining, so I'll try to fix those problems in this video. So first of all, you obviously want to download laser from the OS website, and then when you start up laser for the first time, you'll be prompted to run the setup wizard. Or if you've played laser before, you can go to settings and then run setup wizard. In setup wizard, walk through these steps. If you want, get the tutorial, get the recommended maps. And click next to get to this screen. By clicking on this button, Laser will import your beatmaps, scores, skins, and collections over from Stable, given that you have selected the right directory. If you click on this button, the importing will start. Now this will take a while, so while it loads, let's change some settings. So go over to your settings, and first of all, turn off hit lighting. Then go over to input. Here, if you play on a tablet, and you're using a third-party driver like Open Tablet Driver, turn off tablet, turn off literally everything that is here, including high precision mouse. Keeping this on has caused many people to be unable to move their tablet, so yeah, turn off this. If you're on mouse however, check your stable client and see if raw input is enabled. If it's enabled in stable, then turn this on as well, and obviously change your mouse sensitivity if it's different. For players playing on mouse mode, like forum, just follow what the mouse players are doing. And if you're playing on tablet, just turn this off. Then go down to gameplay and turn off beatmap colors and beatmap skins. You can keep beatmap skins on if you prefer that. Then go down here and turn combo color normalization to zero. Basically what combo color normalization does is normalize the colors in a way to make combo colors more readable. But on most skins, it's not necessary, and turning it to zero makes it the same as in stable. Then turn off fade playfield to red when health is low, because that is annoying. And if you want to, turn on key overlay. Then down in rule sets, you can choose to turn off snaking in and snaking out sliders. Snaking out sliders makes the slider disappear following the slider ball. But personally, I prefer this, so I'm gonna keep this on. Then go over to graphics and turn frame limiter to basically unlimited. Or if it's unstable, try 2x or 4x refresh rate. Since this doesn't affect how fast your inputs are registered. So 2x the refresh rate on the frame limiter does not mean your inputs are also registered at this speed. It'll just cap out at like a thousand. Change your cursor size to whatever you want. If you feel like this blur in the background is a bit weird, you can also turn that off in user interface and turn off the background blur. Finally, if you want, you can go over to the skin editor and add things like a PP counter, a BPM counter, or just anything that is here. That's all the settings for now. In that time, most of my things have been imported. But the last step is scores. If you try to play a map while your scores are being imported, it will lag like shit. So don't do that. Wait for this to finish and I'll show you what to do after. Now that the importing is finished, we can move on to the next step. With the current settings, play a few maps that you are comfortable with playing. So maps you can usually on stable get like maybe like a 95% on and just play it through. Now that we've played a few maps, we can now go over to the audio settings and go over to audio offset. So based on the last few plays, it will suggest you an offset that may or may not be correct. Now my offset was obviously already curated because I play laser, but after applying this and you're still struggling, you can always come back to do it again. So yeah, I hope I didn't forget anything, and that should be everything you need to swap over to laser. If you're still having problems running this game, then you probably have like a million background apps open that you're not aware of. You know what, I'm gonna show you. Like there's way too many people that have like a million background apps open in the background and just don't know, because they just think everything on the taskbar is open. But if you were to click on this little arrow down here, this shows basically all the apps that are currently open. And if you see like a million things that are open that shouldn't be, just turn them off by right clicking and quitting. And if those apps were opened on startup and you don't want that, then you can turn that off in startup settings. But this is a laser tutorial and not a Windows tutorial, so I'm assuming most of you already have that figured out. Anyway, so yeah, if you still have any problems, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll try my best to answer them. But yeah, for now, have fun playing laser and I'll see you next time.